I think it was clear that uh, uh, they were clearly uh, looking for reasons to justify a position that had, had previously been decided upon. We now have a situation where credentials, experience, professionalism uh, are not the issues anymore. It is where you happen to be in terms of the political spectrum at a given time and where uh, where a majority happens to be. For instance, uh, on the floor was cited uh, uh, then Representative Lawler's uh, support on the floor for uh, Justice uh, McDonald and Justice uh, uh, and Justice Sullivan when they were nominated, indicating that they were perceived as quite conservative, and they were. Uh, but yet he supported them. Uh, and the committee supported them because they were recognized that they were qualified for the position in terms of their legal experience, their legal knowledge, uh, their intellectual capacity, uh, and their capacity for analysis, all of which are the standards for competence which clearly <coughs> Justice McDonald has. But apparently now there's something new. I think the Republicans should be ashamed and embarrassed of themselves. They had a caucus position to vote against a very qualified uh, individual to be the uh, Supreme Court uh, Chief Justice. Um, Look, if, let's, let's look at it this way. Uh, the Republicans had a one-vote advantage today, and they used that advantage to uh, vote an extreme agenda and to vote down uh, a qualified candidate for the Chief Justice. As I said earlier, uh, the bridge is now connected between Washington Republicans and Connecticut Republicans, and there's no getting away from that. You and I talked on the floor about implicit and explicit bias, and uh, I think the members of the General Assembly uh, who are gay uh, feel that that was a factor. And even if you look at um, some of the Democratic members who voted um, with the Republicans, um, many of them have also voted with Republicans on LGBT rights. It was a combination. It's like a combination of an unpopular governor, Republicans having power, and um, the possibility of a large win for the LGBT community. Um, that they could stop. I don't think the way that we operate will change based on what the other party does. Right. I think that uh, it, we do call into question, and I called this into question on the floor, um, what is it we judge people on uh, when we sit in the Judiciary Committee and when we bring them to the floor. But I think uh, how we operate cannot be um, dictated by how the other party operates. That just is not the way that this party will operate. Um, and I think going forward, we will continue to look at who is most qualified. And that will be based on the qualifications, not uh, how they live, not where they come from. It will be based on the qualifications we've always judged them on.